So uh, this is Bjarne. I'm calling in from Hamburg. And yeah, I'm here tonight with uh, lovely Ariel and Shaya. Thank you to have me. And thank you for being with us, Bjarne. Yes. Um, I was uh, over the years now, I um, was experience what the thing that gets me every time again and again is the point discipline. It's hard for me to keep my discipline right. Well, so like short goals. In by discipline. And how yeah. does it show up? Um, it shows up. Um, I set myself some short goals, for example, one, two, three times in a week for the gym, reading 10 pages a day. I do not the washing until it's full. So like do it in a uh, continuous time. And um, I can hold it for sometimes a week or two, depends which topic it is. But I always have this like after three, four weeks, five weeks, it's not anymore at the same level of discipline okay. where I want to keep yeah, it. I really love you. This is such a great question because you're talking change. Change sets goals as if when you achieve the goal, things will be better. Yes. And, you know, New Year's resolutions are what you're talking about. You know, around New Year's, people set goals, like you're saying, to get the laundry done on a regular basis, take out the cat litter, uh, you know, whatever their particular goal is, they, they set it as though if they do it, they'll be a better person. You know, it's okay to look in the current moment of your life and see what needs to be done and do that rather than tell yourself to do the things that the thought process tells you you need to do to be a better person. I like that one really much. Yeah, it is always like I have the feeling if I achieve this or get at there, that point or do this and this, and then I feel better or have this like uh, calm feeling, but then the next thing is going up and I sometimes forget to enjoy the way to there or just enjoy where I'm at now. Everybody forgets to enjoy where they are right now from time to time. So first of all, that's a pretty high standard that you should enjoy where you are all the time. It's like you a forget to have fun and to play and and you know, whenever circumstances show up the way you don't like, mm -hmm. then of course you forget. The other thing is this, that voice that tells you what you need to do, yeah. to be a good person, that voice isn't you. That just happens to be a voice you listen to because it's been around for as long as you can remember. Mm -hmm. And it tells you how you're supposed to be all the time. Have you noticed that? No matter what you're doing, it tells oh, you could do this better, or you should slow down, or do it faster, or when you get this done, you'll feel better. It doesn't necessarily compute because you're not that voice. That's a, a, a set of recordings that play on shuffle, and they're activated by the, the circumstances in your life in the moment. So if something happens that you see, you haven't washed the dishes, it tells you to wash the dishes. But you know, when you saw the dishes in the sink, you need, knew you needed to wash them, but the voice thinks it needs to tell you everything. It's really a dictator it and is. it's old. You know, it makes demands of you as though if you do those things, somehow you'll be a better person. But if you do those things, you're the same person. And if you're happy, you're happy. If you're not happy, you're not happy and you've got those things done. There's a lot of unhappy people out there who get a lot of things done in their life, thinking that if they get them done, they'll be happier. It doesn't work that way. The other mm -hmm. thing is, when you want to do something, it doesn't take long. You have fun with it. When you don't make want to do something, do something and you make yourself do it because you told yourself you would. It takes a long time. And you make it mistakes. It's getting there and there and there. And well, the other thing is you read the page 
but you can't recall what you read. <laughs> I like that one. That is really, yeah, this is great fitting to what I, the last days were. Now, if we were in a change modality, we would now tell you what to do next. But we're not going to. I see your face. It's lighter. It's brighter. Let's see where it goes from here. Hey, you see, you know, be a witness to how your life is showing up in the moment. You may shock yourself with how brilliant you are, Bjarna. You just may. And it's okay to be brilliant. <laughs>